the good life full of fun. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Another big exciting day in my kitchen. Bowl of hot tomato soup. We're gonna visit mom's kitchen today, but we're gonna visit my mom's kitchen Tuscan style, cooking Italian Joe mm, with a little bit of punch, all right? So let me take you through some ingredients here. It's fast, it's fun. First thing, center stage, the, the name on the marquee, something that you uh, really wanna spend your effort on is your tomatoes. So if you can, you wanna get some San Marzano tomatoes, all right? So we're gonna get them peeled whole. Ideally, it'd be great to go to my garden right there in Puglia, Italy and grab them, but that ain't happening today. What I did is I got a 28 ounce can of San Marzano Marzano tomatoes, peeled, whole, ready to go. Next, we're gonna need some stock. So your stock is gonna to add to the, to the tomato soup, right? Your foundation, but remember guys, don't add water. If you can ever avoid it, never add water to anything you're making. Water dilutes flavor. We always wanna bring flavor in. So here, what we're doing is about a cup and a half-ish, okay? It's Tuscan Italy, so the measurements are a little bit all over the place, you know what I mean? But we're gonna do a cup and a half, of chicken stock. Uh, you can use a vegetable stock, which is great, uh, as another compliment if you want, but today we're using chicken stock. Next, we wanna add some Italiano, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna add some punch of those hills of Italy, you know, grass-fed, what? Cows and sheep and, and just great stuff, so we wanna add some of that cheese. So I got an Italian grocery store here in Syracuse, and I got some mascarpone cheese, okay? So I've got four tablespoons of mascarpone cheese. Oh. You know, and it's creamy and it's thick and it's got just a little extra tang to it. Oh, and it just gives you that flavor, that taste of Italy, okay? I've got about three-ish, hey, two to three, you know what I'm saying? Again, it's Italian cooking, it's not precise, but I got two to three tablespoons of some butter, non-salted if possible. If it's salted, you know, you hear that in recipes, don't freak out. Just remember, if there's already salt in the in the butter, you're adding salt to your dish. So, so take that extra effort and taste it a few times before you decide to add salt. I've got one whole onion. Okay, now I like that golden onion. It's got it's sweet and it's got enough of a punch to it. You know, it's got that nice flavor to it. So that you know that's typically my favorite in my cooking, anyways. Okay, I've got a couple of cloves of garlic. Oh, and that just smells so great. All right, now this one here maybe a little different. Stay with me, stay with me, I don't wanna lose ya. I'm gonna use a breath of cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon, you will not taste the cinnamon. The cinnamon adds like a, like a, a, a sweetness, it's a spice, right? So it's gonna add a little bit of sweetness on the back end and it complements the tomato, but you'll never taste it. It really enhances the, the sweetness of a tomato. So I got myself about an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Here what I wanna add is a, a quarter teaspoon of red hot peppercino. So I've got some red pepper flakes. What it does is it brings just enough like warmth, because typically you have a tomato soup to kind of warm you up, right? So the temperature of the soup is great. You're gonna have these earthy, beautiful flavors to it. And then you're gonna add just enough heat. Again, just, just enough to where it's adding a little bit extra warmth and in a spice as well as you are with the temperature and it's it's perfect okay couple more things now one we've got some pepper in this case i can't smell it because it's in the canister but i'm a big fan of that freshly ground pepper okay that it's always going to give you a better flavor you know because there's there's oils in the pepper so once you crack it and you let it out in the air, it dries that out, so you're losing some of that flavor. My next is my favorite, and that's that gray sea salt from France, and that's briny. Again, it doesn't give you that sharp bite. It's not as earthy, so I'm gonna use my gray sea salt from France. Hey, oui, hey, how you doing, hey? I don't know what that was. That was Italian and French? That was a, that was an Italian trying to impersonate a French? That was an Italian-American trying to impersonate a French person. I'm not sure. Pepe Le Pew, hey, hey. Next in our cast is basil. There's nothing better than basil. I'm gonna cook pricey salad. Oh my God. So, so we're gonna use some basil. Now we're gonna use a very little bit. We're gonna use about a leaf just to get going in our initial oil. You see what I'm talking about? And then I'll add a little bit of that aromatic flavor, that beautiful herb. You gotta watch it with basil because it's so strong. You add too much in it and it overtakes the, 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 the nuances of all those other flavors you're putting in there. And then we're gonna use it as a little a little top dressing, right? We got some ciabatta bread and this is freshly baked by a, a bakery up the street. Oh, you know, you gotta love it because with that crust, what there's sugars in there. So it's essentially, it's a caramelization of those sugars. So 
it, you know, and it's got that perfect crack to it. And it was fresh break this morning. So beautiful. Last but not least, you guys know where I'm going with it. We're going to use some Vito and Joe's. Hey, hey, Vito, Joe, how you doing? So those are my two boys, Vito, Anthony, and Joey Rocco. And we started a farm in Italy. It's in Puglia. And it's just above the heel, and we co-op with a whole group of farms to bring you what I consider to be some of the best olive oil you'll ever have in your life. And Puglia really gives you the best olive oil in the world. And uh, it's grassy, it's earthy, it's peppery, and uh, you guys can go right on my Facebook, Cooking Italian with Joe or Vino and Joe's Olive Oil, and just click the Buy It Now button and we'll drop ship it right to your house. Uh, or you can go right to my website cookingitalianwithjoe.com same thing you click on the buy it now we got a blog on there we're always updating what's going on in the farm and we show some videos of the olives being picked and you can order yourself a bottle right there on the website large or small you know maybe i don't know two go crazy buy three bottles you know what i mean somebody's got to keep the electricity on in this place i consider it a trip to italy right in bottle. all right enough of the chatting let's get cooking so first and foremost we got to prep our stuff for that sofrito the that the, the beginning flavor of our soup first up is our onion now a little trick on the onion put it in the refrigerator or even the freezer before you cut it and that'll help you with all the gases so you're not getting all emotional when you cut it so let's prep this up with a medium chop so cut that top bottom cut it in half and now just give it a medium cut right and you guys have seen this before right and then just give it a Cut across the top. Left with that heel. Next up is our basil. Real simple with these two. Now this is the basil we're gonna put in there, right? Just roll it up a little bit, maybe once or twice. What I'll do is I'll just slice it down the middle, right? And then I'm gonna just cut it. And you're beautiful. Now, famous garlic, right? Just hit it. Boom, give it a good smashing, peel it, cut your end off, and then just give it a little cut. Oh, there's nothing better than garlic. Now grab yourself a medium saucepan, okay, perfect. And we're gonna start adding our ingredients. So first, you know, in Joe's, I mean, honestly, you probably got a bottle already, right? Maybe more. And I'm gonna throw some olive oil in there, probably about a third of a cup. Now get your heat going, and I'm gonna grab my butter. Just get that going until everything's melted. Our oil and butter are ready, now I'm just gonna take everything in there, okay? Our garlic, our basil, our onions. Now we're gonna cook this down, a good five to eight minutes. And we want all the onions to be not only translucent, but even even more than that, real soft, almost almost mushy. I'll tell you the smell in here is unbelievable. See how I got that brown in right there? It's perfect, so I got that caramelization going, okay? Just what I want. Now I'm gonna add my chicken stock because I'm gonna break that heat, okay? And that'll cool it down, so it'll start to warm back up, but it'll break the cook cycle. Oh, that's perfect. Next, I'm gonna add my cinnamon. Next, I'm gonna add my hot pepper flake. We're gonna add a pinch of our sea salt. I'd say about a quarter teaspoon to start. Next, we're gonna do our fresh ground pepper. Well, I'll tell you, it smells good in here. All right, so I've got everything warming up. Next thing we gotta add here is our tomatoes, our San Marzano tomatoes. Before I do that, just a couple of quick tips. One thing that really makes this come out awesome and rich and just gives you that feel that flavor of Italy is you got to get some Italiano in you. You know what I'm saying? And one of the best ways to do that is if you click that subscribe button right down here in the left hand corner. So when you click that, what it does is it subscribes you to our channel. So any trips I have, any new recipes I have coming up, any new travel tips I have, whatever's going on with cooking Italian with Joe or Joe Boreal, it'll actually come right into your notification box. And you know what, I'll tell you, it means a lot to me when you subscribe to our channel and uh, hey, it makes you part of the Boreal family, you know what I'm saying? Second thing you got to do if you haven't done it already, which maybe you have, you got to jump right online, grab yourself a bottle of olive oil, Vito and Joe's, and we'll drop ship it right to your house. All right, what do you say? Let's add some tomatoes and finish our trip to Tuscany. All right, now the real secret here is not to get tomatoes all over you, all right? So what I'm going to do is just slowly get it in there as quick as you can. Use your paddle, hold everything in there. And just a nice slow, oh, look at that, isn't that perfect? And now just give it a good stir here. All right guys, we're gonna let mother nature do its work here. We're gonna let this heat up for a good 10, 15 minutes or so. And what we want is we want the soup to actually marry all those flavors. We want the tomatoes to cook enough to where they just start to fall apart on their own. All right guys, been about 15 minutes. You see the steam, the aroma, oh. God, it's awesome. And without even really stirring it, you see all the tomatoes, see how they're all falling apart? 
That's when you know it's perfect. Now this part's fun. Just remember, so you're not wearing this, make sure you keep it fully submerged because if you pull it out a little bit, you're in trouble. What I like to do is use a handle and just tip it forward a little bit for you. So you fully submerge it. And then there we go, now we got magic happening. Now you see how that color changes? It just starts to give you that perfect tomato soup. How beautiful is that? I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, oh my God, you forgot the mascarpone cheese. No, I didn't. I wanted to make sure you guys had time enough to subscribe to the channel and grab yourself some oil, okay? Now, now you want to shut that heat off. So I want no heat in there at all. I'm gonna grab my mascarpone cheese and I don't want to put the mascarpone cheese when it's bubbling hot because what'll happen a lot of times, it'll break the cheese up. It'll actually, it won't hold into a cheese because I don't want to cook the cheese, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just bring it right in nice and gentle and just give it a slow little stir in there for a minute and just gently stir right in the soup. You're good to go. It's time to eat some soup. All right guys, well this was just finished warming up. I toasted a little bread just as an accent on the side, okay? What do you say we fill this guy up, all right? Oh, I'll tell you the smell in here, fantastic. Oh, doesn't that look good? A nice little way to finish this off, just take a little dollop or two of uh, your mascarpone cheese, and then I'm just gonna take a little pinch of basil. All right, guys, my favorite time of the video. I know it's yours too. Let's do it, man. Oh, you know, right away, it's just tomato. You know, you just feel that tomato, and then you can taste that cream, you know, from the Mascarpone cheese, you just give it a little stir. You got just that onion, that garlic. You can see the steam coming off, it's hot. The aroma is beautiful. The temperature is perfect of the soup and the cream, the tomato, the tang. And I can barely even hit it, but just, just a little bit of that pepper, that warmth of the pepper. Like I said, the cinnamon, you can't taste it at all, but it enhances the, the tang and the sweetness of the tomato. The cheese, the cream, the onion, the garlic. One of my favorite things, look at that right there. How's oh, that look good? Mm. Man, is that good or is that good? You know what I mean? I can almost, not quite, but I can almost hear my mom saying, Joey, do you want some more soup? <laughs> Absolutely delicious and it's got that old rustic flavor of Italy right from Tuscany. Guys, such a great recipe. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me in the kitchen today. I tell you, it was a lot of fun. Now remember guys, couple of things. First and foremost, you guys gotta hit that subscribe button. Make you part of the Borio family, you know what I'm saying? You gotta grab some olive oil, drop ship it to your house. Trip to Italy right in a bottle, guys. And remember, shut the TV off for a few minutes, you know what I mean? And, and take up those cell phones and, uh, and make a mess and, uh, and wreck some recipes, who cares, you know? And, and spend some time with your family, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, you know, and, and celebrate your heritage, set some new traditions. I'll tell you, it'll set, it'll set memories that'll last a lifetime. I know they did for me, guys. Till next week, mwah, bon appetit, Full of fun seems to be the idea